Oldham's new goalkeeper, Nathan Broom, on transfer deadline day. Usually a very frantic time, but for yourself, was it kind of an easier situation to, to come into here? Yeah, I think like, as soon as you know, find out about the news and stuff like that, the, the transition's been, been quite quick. Um, you know, living in Manchester and stuff, it's a, it's a big thing to move away and stuff like that, but you know, Basil's been brilliant, he's, he's helped, helped uh, you know, help me settle in and lads have been brilliant, so it's, uh, it's been good. Do you like to get this over the line? We've had him in on trial for a few weeks and um, he's impressed everyone at the football club. Um, I had a good look at him before we actually brought him in on trial, so it was nice to get a closer look at him and uh, impressed everyone at the football club and um, I'm delighted to, to get this done. How did you initially find out about the interest and was there other clubs interested in you as well? Yeah, so came back quite quick, um, found out about the interest about December, I think it was, just a phone call from Asian, um, I think Hazel had been in touch, uh, the gaffer, and um, yeah, it, it, it moved pretty quick, like I said, um, you know, a few of the clubs were on the phone, uh, Forest, Lincoln, teams like that, so, um, yeah, a few good teams, but I think the Bezo, the pathway, things like that have uh, persuaded me. And yeah, you're talking about the influence of, of Ashley Bayes there, I mean, yeah. you come down and done a little bit of training with them? Yeah, 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 so I came down on a, a week trial. Um, and I, I fell in love. Um, I thought his, you know, sessions were with, with top draw. Obviously, you know, he's worked with Ronsdale, Kellerus, you know, these top keepers, and it's um, like that. That is what I, what I was looking for. Someone with real potential. And you wanted pushing tans straight away, yeah? Yeah, very much so. Since we lost Coxie to Brentford, I've been on the lookout for a younger goalkeeper who uh, who is a sort of a project, who I can develop, and who, who can push. The rest of the goalkeepers in the group, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to get it done. Of course, we've had uh, another young player just join us recently, Alfie Bendel, um, and the Cape coach has said apparently that you know the situation in the past where perhaps we've been looking to keep hold of our younger players, now it's a case of younger players actually being attracted to come to yeah. this club. Was that very much the case for yeah, you? Yeah, I think so. I think you, you can see how how the club wants to go forward in terms of playing young players, you know, looking to sell them on, make a profit. I think. I think it's a big like selling point now for the club, and I think you know it's it's it's, um, it's like you know it's what players look for, like to move forward and stuff like that. So it, it, it's a club that's doing things right. And our story as well. I mean, it's it's the club that's been resurrected by the fans. Yeah. They've got the stadium back. Did you do your own, any yeah. of your own research? Yeah, I, yeah. I looked into it all, and you know it's a it's an unbelievable story. Um, I was watching YouTube videos and stuff like that of it and it's, it's all over the place. It's the greatest footballing story and 100% it is. And we've, yeah, again, as I say, we're talking about Ashley Bayes there. I mean, his reputation of having worked with young England keepers. Um, is that something that obviously clearly appealed to you coming here? You developed it? Yeah, I think that was, you know, like something that I had to look for in, in the next chapter um, is that someone who's going to drive every day, you know, you see what he's done with Tons, Tons gave him a 19 and he's flying and he's doing really well. Ram has, has gone on to be unbelievable uh, and Joe at Stoke, JB, you know, he's, he's doing really well, he's playing every week and I think what Basil does with young keepers is, you know, you know there's not many out there that, that will do that. He reminds me of the young Longy in his looks and everything. Um, yeah, a little bit of Rambo, a little bit of Coxie. Um, you know, the, the things I look for in a goalkeeper. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about getting, getting to work with him. And you mentioned Joe Bursick there at Stoke now. I mean, did, did he talk to you about coming to Wimbledon? Yeah, yeah as, um, as soon as the interest was known, uh, Bezo had been on the phone to him and uh, Joe was straight on to me and, you know, picked the club up and talked to all his time there and Bezo and he sold the club to me. Fantastic. Um, but looking at your career so far, I mean, starting out in Manchester City, yeah. being a Manchester lad as well, mm -hmm. that must have been a fantastic experience. Yeah, no, some experiences. Um, you know, like places I've seen, tournaments and players I've played with, Phil Foden, you, you know, you see all these Cole Palmer, unbelievable players and playing at the top of the game. It's, like I say, it's the best place to be uh, as a young player. And unfortunately it didn't work, but off the back of that, got a great move to Stoke. Stoke were brilliant. Um, 
they helped me achieve England and you know, achieve whatever it is, four or five caps for England. Uh, Travelled to the Euro for them, so been some great experiences and you know, hope to make many more here. Yeah, I mean, as you say, at such a young age as well, and you've been playing 23s football for Stoke, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so 23s football, um, had a loan a couple of seasons ago, and all went well, and like I say, it's just looking for that, that next chapter now. And the England experiences as well, I mean, what was that moment like, Becky, we called up for them? Yeah, no, it's, you know, it's, it's easy to say, it's best moment of your career and stuff like that, but it's, it was a real honour. I'd seen the family there and stuff like that, singing that national anthem. Um, and, you know, there's nothing tops it. And a real, as you say, a project for the future, but you know, he's, he's young, he's got potential, he's played for the young England team as well. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got a few England caps, um, so um, he's had a good grounding to be fair at Man City and Stoke. So um, yeah, he just, he just fitted really. Um, like I say, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my teeth into him now, so yeah, it's great. What would you say your real strengths as a keeper? Um, I think distribution, I think you see the modern game sort of going that way. Like, I, you know, I'm referring like to Joe and Ramsdale, like best in the game at the minute, doing it. Edison, people like that, I think, you know, it's, it's a real strength of mine. Um, shot stopping, always been very capable. Um, and yeah, just keep the ball out of the back of the night, I think that's what I'm employed to do. So, what were the qualities that really impressed you about him? Um, he's my type of goalkeeper in terms of uh, what I look for. He's quick, he's dynamic, um, he's got great agility, speed and power. So, uh, and he's a great distributor of the ball. So, um, yeah, I look forward to developing him and uh, pushing him on, really. What's the plan moving forward now, in terms of with Wimbledon? Um, I think come in, you know, push times, come in number two, work hard every day and potentially, you know, see where he goes. If not a few games this season, if I can, but you know, just work hard and put a, put a message in there in the gaffer's mind. And that's what excites you as well, is, I mean, that he's our keeper now, he's not signed on loan, he's permanently with us. Yeah, he's, a, he's our goalkeeper, so it gives us another goalkeeper who's, who's one of ours, and um, I look forward to uh, seeing him uh, push Tans and the rest of the group. And moving down here as well, what's that like for you? Yeah, it's, it's you know, I mean, one word too, I've a few tears and stuff, but no, it's, it's good, it's exciting. Getting to that age now where, you know, new chapter in my life and it's exciting times. A young lad moving down here, but he seems very mature for his age. Yeah, he's a uh, 19, 20, um, yeah, very, very mature. He's got an uh, older head on young shoulders. Um, but yeah, moving down from Manchester, where he's from, um, he's going to be uh, living in his own place. So uh, yeah, it's a big change for him. It's something that he's uh, going to put everything into. So um, that side of it will help him with um, and uh, make him feel as welcome as we can um, as we do at this football club. That's really important as well, isn't it? I mean, being, you know, having played 23s football, you, you need to push on for first game. Yeah, game exactly. Football, yeah. Exactly that. And being in the environment already is, is, is it's a good environment to be in, especially with the team, because it's a team of young lads and you know, I, feel, I feel like I've fit, fit in well already. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, having a young age group around you all sort of similar age, that must really help. Yeah, definitely. I think it's like, it's, you know, that team spirit and it's easy to gel. and. You can see that in there, the great group of lads. And as I said, it's, it's a fans club, very much that, the way that the fans have helped build the club again. Tremendous stadium, how much are you looking forward to stepping out there? Yeah, now? it's brilliant. I've been to watch a couple of games and I fell in love with the stadium. I think it's beautiful. It's such a nice modern stadium and excited to get out there and you know, show what I can do. Brilliant. Nathan Broom, welcome to no, the thank you very much.